hello guys this is a repeat lecture and uh, this is because uh, many students requested that the voice quality of the previous lecture which were uploaded were not very good so some of the lectures i am repeating just to improve the voice quality and this is one of them and the topic is suture materials what we will learn from this is <clears throat> identification classification and question and answers about suture material so there is color coding for suture material and the mnemonic is yellow cat has black silk brown cat has white cotton but white proline is blue so yellow is plain cat cat brown is chronic cat cat blue is proline black is silk violet the white krill and cotton is white you can remember one thing that line alone is black in color so the packets they also have color coding silk packet is light blue nylon packet is green plain cat get yellow chromic cat get brown white is purple proline is blue pds is gray stainless steel is silver ethy bond is orange <clears throat> now again there is one more classification in which the sutures are classified it is absorbable and non absorbable so in this there is further classification absorbable natural and synthetic so absorbable natural is chromic sorry the catgut which is monofilament <coughs> absorbable synthetic is vicryl which is polyfilament absorbable synthetic other example is monocryl which is monofilament absorbable synthetic one more example is pds which is monofilament now let us come to non absorbable natural which are silk which is polyfilament steel which may be mono which may be multifilament and cotton which is polyfilament now non absorbable synthetic are nylon which is monofilament and proline which is monofilament now what is ideal suture material that comes into our mind and the, that is a question which is asked also so this is a suture material which causes minimal tissue reaction and injury which is easy to handle and it should secure the knot easily that is should not open when you tie the knot and resistant to infection is another criteria it should have high tensile strength and also should have less memory now the question is what is the memory of the suture it is the inherent capability of the suture to return to its original shape so when the memory is high the two suture tend to come back again to original shape and it is difficult to handle them what do you mean by the size of the suture this is also a question so it is the thickness or the diameter of the suture the higher the number the lesser is the diameter of the suture for example silk 2.0 is bigger than silk 3.0 now monofilament sutures they have less chances of infection while the polyfilament sutures have more chances of infection the natural sutures are degraded by enzymatic reaction this is mcq question and also synthetic suture are degraded by hydrolysis now this is example of monofilament and polyfilament so this is you can see there is only one filament and the next diagram you can see there are many monofilament suture embedded in a sheath so these are polyfilament so this is having less chances of infection this is having more chances of infection maybe because of capil reaction now let us describe sutures one by one this is catgut which is plain 100 cm in length the needle is half of the circle and the body is round and it is 4.5 mm the tip so i will explain each of these thing in later slides but let us move forward as you know this is yellow in color now absorption time or the tensile strength of this suture last for 7 to 10 days it is derived from the submucosa of the jejunum of healthy sheep or the cattle it is having high tissue reaction and it is used in circumcision subcutaneous tissue approximation now this is chromic catgut it is brown in color absorption time or the tensile strength last for 21 to 28 days 
it is coated with chromium salt to resist the degradation in tissue and improve handling the tissue reaction is moderate and it is used in circumcision again subcutaneous tissue approximation and suturing muscle and the fascia now this is vicryl you know that is a purple in color now absorption time is 3 months vicryl is also called as polygalactic acid it is polyfilament it is causes mild tissue reaction and in closure of fascia bowel anastomosis muscle peritoneum approximation it is used now let us come to pds pds is you can say it is bluish in color pds is polydioxanone suture material it is monofilament it is synthetic absorbable suture as you know it causes less tissue reaction because it is monofilament this is nylon or it is called as polyamide that is monofilament the wrapper you can see is green but the suture material is black so it is polyamide polymer it is monofilament it causes less tissue reaction it is used in skin closer now let us come to proline it is blue in color it is monofilament it is a polymer of polypropylene it also causes low tissue reaction it is used in closing rectus chronoplasty for closing aponeurosis and fixing mesh now this is silk it is black in color it it obtained from silk worm it is polyfilament so chances of infection are there high tissue reaction is there it is used in tying bleeding vessels to tie pedicle of any organ for example renal pedicle also now let us come to steel this is the color of the steel now it may be monofilament or multifilament it is composed of 316 l stainless steel it is closed in sternal closure or used in sternal closure orthopedic procedure also now we should know about suture needle so this is the shape of the needle this is round or the curb needle it has point it has body and it had ends so point can be blunt or the sharp end the body can be round or the cutting and the end can be swayed then or the eye then so i am explaining this to you this is vicryl let us explain that is a round body half circle 40 mm number 1 vicryl so let us explain now the types of needle on cross section can be these four types it can be round body so what does round body do it splits the tissue and does not cut it so for example it is used in kidney and liver the cutting it is used for tough tissue skin and tendon so this is the cross section of the needle and this is taper cut in this what happens is the needle pierces the tissue but do not cut it it is used in vessels and gi tissues and the reverse cutting is the opposite of cutting tissue so this is the eye needle and this is the swayed needle so this is eye curve this is eye straight needle now needles are made of steel they may have blunt or sharp points you know that they may be straight or curved you again know that they may be straight needle can be used without needle holder so this can be a positive point but obviously in straight needles are difficult to handle the curved needles may be half of the curve or one fourth of the circle it is see the attachment of suture may be in the eye of the needle or it may be swayed that is eyeless thank you so much if any doubt you can ask or any lecture from the previous videos you want to repeat i am happy to make it again so thank you so much